Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Live and welcome to another episode of Nerdy Thrifts, a video series where I go around my local charity shops and try and find some nerdy bargains. So yeah, the weather has been horrendous at the moment. It's been cold, it's been raining, all manner of bad stuff. However, that hasn't stopped me from going out and finding some bargains like I usually do. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so let's start off with this electronics aisle. And first off, I find this Lang 2 keyboard. Very shiny, very white. Pretty cool for all intents and purposes, but for £10, yeah, I don't really want to pick this up for what it is. So yeah, I left it. Moving on here to the next section of the show. And I found this very nice joystick. It's got a weird like handle on it, a trigger. All that kind of good stuff, some suction cups on the bottom. Really cool, again, £10. Not quite sure what this brand is. There is a name there, Speedlink, I believe it is. But yeah, to me, don't have room for it, so I didn't get it. Likewise, with this Nitro racing wheel in the box, and also £10. Pretty cool, there seems to be some kind of LED um, kind of display on there. But yeah, I left it. Moving on to the media section, in particular CDs, and I found a lone single PlayStation 1 game, Panzerfront, for £10. A little bit more than I was hoping to pay for it, but you know what, these things are getting rarer and rarer to find in charity shops, so yeah, for £10, why not? On to another charity shop here, and in the media section I found kind of some generic PlayStation 3 games, sports games, singing games, whatever, FIFA as well. Then a little bit down further here some more interesting things we've got streets uh, true crime streets of la grand theft auto vice city which i was considering to get because i mean i want vice city physically i don't believe i have it but yeah it didn't have the uh booklet with it also brother in arms road to hill 30 i've heard it's a fairly good game um but again it didn't have the booklet with it so i left it i always try and buy things with booklets and other feelings like that. Moving on down here, and yeah, again, just some kind of generic stuff. Sing Star and all that kind of stuff. FIFA again. Look at all those FIFAs. There's about four on a shelf there. Rubbish. Yet another media section here, and yes, a bunch of PlayStation 3 games. Max Payne, Battlefield, etc, etc. Some interesting ones, I'm going to be honest, although, you know, I don't collect PlayStation 3 games. Resistance, Fall of Man, pretty good game. Sleeping Dogs, I adore this game. I don't think I've got it physically. Um, still don't because I didn't buy it. That's definitely a game I want physically. Grand Theft Auto 4 as well. Pretty good. And also Battleborn, which to me, I don't know much of. Hitting those media sections hard in this video. Bunch more stuff here, as you can see. Some random PC games, some Wii games. Big Brain Academy for Wii whatever that is, <laughs> and then Tony Hawk's Underground, which, fantastic game, I adore the first two Underground games, although, again, this did not have um, the booklet, so, yeah, I didn't get it, but I thought it was worth showing on camera, because it's a great game. Something slightly different here, and not something I know a lot of, this is the Hubson X4, it's a little kind of quadcopter thing, drone whatever you want to call it i don't know a lot about drones so i don't know if this is good or not but when i opened it up more fully than i'm showing on camera a lot needed to be done to it it looked like a project that someone had kind of started to do and then got bored off and just donated it so even though i'm kind of interested in getting a little drone it's not going to be this one <laughs> some rather exciting finds in at this shop front in that glass cabinet, as you can see as zooming in, that is Def Jam Fight for New York, and also Clock Tower 3. One for £20, one for £30. I guess fairly very expensive games. Uh, I know they sell them for more in CEX, but for like £50 complete, especially because one, I believe, is damaged, I'm I'm leaving them. I'm, I'm not spending that much on a couple of games. And inside this shop, pretty sure someone just kind of dumped their entire collection of PlayStation 2 games because you can see that there is a lot more inside. I definitely wanted to pick a few of these up, like kind of, kind of edit, the bully uh, game, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, etc, etc. Area 51, Burnout Takedown, 
all that kind of stuff. But you know what? They were selling them for kind of above what I'd normally pay prices, especially for a charity shop. Uh, I mean, there's also, you know, Call of Duty Vanguard and stuff like that. So yeah, I left them because I wanted to. <laughs> Good collection though. On to the electronic section in another charity shop. And I found this SISO, SISO, I believe it's called. Uh, tape player and record player. Very dusty. I love the kind of design on the front with a hat, cross hatch kind of thing. Yeah, man, dusty, but really, really cool. If I had space for something like this, I would definitely pick it up, add it to my kind of sound system. But yeah, in the end, I left it because now I have space. As well, this V3, the Mad Cats, <laughs> um, racing wheel and pedals and all that kind of stuff. Again, if I had space, I'd probably get this, but I don't. I also found a random scar cable here, which I believe isn't to go with the steering wheel. Oh, yes, another steering wheel here. <laughs> These things are a dime a dozen at the moment. Seems to be so many kind of littering the shelves in charity shops. Pretty cool to see though. Jumping into a toy section here and I found uh, some Disney Infinity figures still sealed in the packaging. This of course is a Star Wars, Luke and Leia, Rise Against the Empire, uh, I don't know, collection, whatever it is. <laughs> um, £7.50. Not really too bothered about this. I don't collect Disney Infinity. Not too interested in it. But yeah, I guess that's something. Some more games on the shelf here. Command and Conqueror 3, which I do believe I have, and for a pound, I don't think that's too bad for a game. Do Nukem Forever, I adore that game. Incredibly flawed, but I adore it anyway. Saints Row 4, and also SSX. Pretty cool games. I also decided to kind of head into a junk shop, and they had quite a few games in here. I wasn't actually expecting it. Some quite modern ones, some not so modern ones, like that N64 cartridge. For £15, definitely not buying that, because that is not worth that amount of money. Although there were some other ones, like Jurassic World Evolution for the PlayStation 4, which actually weren't bad prices. And then up here as well, a lot of Xbox games, all for £2 apparently. I'm sure I could have maybe traded some of those in for more, but I left it in the end. I just couldn't be bothered to sort it all out. In the other glass cabinet in that junk shop was a Steam controller. And this is actually the first time I've seen a Steam controller in real life. Very tempted to get it, but yeah, in the end I didn't. I kind of regret it, but you win some, you lose some. Further in that junk shop and I found a plastic tub filled with some media <laughs> and some mold spray. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, Tag Team Racing or whatever it is for the PSP. Empty aside from the, um, what you call it, booklet. So yeah, I left it. Real random stuff in here though. I love going in junk shops because you never actually know what you're going to find. Like this bucket, there was a keyboard on the floor. And then also some headphones just kind of dumped in here. <laughs> just a mouse as well. Just, it was great rummaging through all this kind of stuff. Underneath here was a chip fryer, I think, and some uh, pedals from a steering wheel back into a proper charity shop here and above the puzzles and board games i found spyro reignited trilogy fantastic remaster of the original trilogy it was selling for two pounds which i think is a great price i've already got this but i did decide to trade it in because why not right two pounds up to ten pounds credit at cex i think that's a ex good exchange rate I, is that the right term for it i don't know yeah man uh, i don't usually do it but this time around i did into yet another media section and again fifa we've got some running pc games and another copy of dune forever that is the second time in this video that we found one some crazy chicken games and yeah just some other random stuff <laughs> a glass cabinet find up next it's a wii <laughs> for 45 pounds including a mountain of peripherals man the amount of peripherals that we had is just ridiculous a varied because of selection of games as well. We got Cooking Mama, The Simpsons Game, Animal Crossing, lots of uh, just dance stuff. Pretty cool. Toy Story 3, is that The Simpsons? I don't know. Oh, it's The Simpsons 3. Harvest Moon, Magical Melody, 
Yeah, uh, not something that I particularly want, but for someone, I'm sure £45 is a fantastic buy. Now this next set of video is technically in the last charity shop of the video, but there's a whole bunch of stuff to see in here, including this weird Sudoku kind of plug and play machine. I don't know much about it. I, I like Sudoku, but I'm not one to, you know, plug it into my TV or whatever it does. Yeah, £3. It's an oddity, but I'm going to get it. A U draw game tablet. I've never used one of these. Um, I was tempted, but for ten pounds, yeah, I'm I'm not getting it. Maybe for a fiver, I don't know. Another thing that really caught my attention with this next thing is the actual like image on the box rather than the actual product. This is like a desktop super shelf thing where it's essentially a big plastic thing where you can put your PC on and stuff and the keyboard under and all that kind of stuff. But really, as I said, it's the kind of picture that caught my attention more because of that big old CRT, uh, PC monitor, big chunky beige keyboard. So the last thing was definitely a bit retro. These things definitely are. A nice selection of cameras from like to to Toshiba stuff to stuff I don't even know, <laughs> like this Minolota? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, yeah, there were just like tons of these little cameras in these plastic bags. Lumix one. Like, whatever that is. <laughs> a Shinon? Shin Shinian? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce these, these names. But there was a lot of them. And I imagine for a camera collector, this was like a gold mine. But again, I don't know. Um, I have one camera and that specifically uses uh, floppy disks but yeah I don't know much about these but they look really cool and I thought I'd show them on camera. These next things are incredible. From what I can tell these are probably like dioramas for like figures like Warhammer and stuff like that to be displayed on. These things are so ridiculous detailed you can tell by the fact that there's kind of plastic bottles in there that these are probably handmade. But honestly, the detail on this and something else I'll show you in a second was incredible. Like, they were just sat there on the side and I just couldn't believe the detail on them. Like, I just, I'm like gobsmacked, gobsmacked by how detailed these are. Like, Obviously, you know, they might have bought things to add in there, but I imagine for the most part, the majority of these things are handmade with like little pipes and stuff. Just, yeah, I thought these were absolutely incredible. And I wanted them, but I don't have Warhammer or anything, so I left them. And that is another episode of Nerdy Thrifts, done and dusted. I didn't get a whole lot this episode, just one single PlayStation 1 game. Panzer Front for £10, which, you know, was that a good price? I'm sure there'll be, you know, discussions about that, but yeah, I got it. <laughs> In any case, if you enjoyed this video, then by all means, like, comment, subscribe, do that social media goodness, and as always, keep living that best nerd life.